What's going on YouTube Lance, your boy Drees, and I'm back with another video for you guys. This one right here is going to be how to clear your house if you hear something late at night, okay? If you have a two-story house like me, right? So my wife and my bedroom is right here, and my kids' bedrooms are right here. If I know for a fact that my kids aren't downstairs, they're not sleeping in the den, they're not having a, you know, a... Uh, what do you call it? The jungle gym parties, all that kind of stuff where they hang out and they build forts and stuff. Uh, if I know they're up here and I know my wife is up here and I hear something downstairs and keep in mind you, another great defense guys is have big dogs. We have two very big dogs and I know for a fact they will defend us. Say they've alerted me to something downstairs. Say someone has broken a window, they have broken a door in, they have done any of that stuff guys. Most, or not most, but I'm sorry, all of the things that I need to protect are up here. If I know for a fact that nobody is downstairs, I don't have to rush clear my house in order to get to them. So the best part about this is my wife and me have gone over stuff. She has her protection next to her, her bed. I have mine. Let's say for instance that because you are the provider of the house, right? And I'm using my burner as a training tool to show you this stuff. I am going to leave my bedroom and obviously I've not heard anything come up the stairs, right? So the stuff that I am to protect is in these two rooms and behind me. I know for a fact no one else is downstairs. My dogs have alerted me. I am going to clear hallway and I am going to keep covering myself every step, step of the way. If you, every room that you go to, you need to be clearing and touching before you get to the stairs. So I'm here and now that I know everybody in my house is this way, I can go ahead and push forward. My wife obviously will be on the phone with 911. She will have her arms and readies and she will be the last line of the defense, but I am the first line of defense and I must come around the corner. Now I showed you this about the doors if you watch the short, but a lot of people think that when they go to a door, they need to get as close as possible to the edge and do this. That is not a good idea. Why? Because you are actually gonna present your gun into a room before you get there. And the first thing to go around that thing for your body is going to be your head. You're an easy target. Never do that, guys. So I always try to stay as far away as I can and clear the room, okay? And I'm always going to be looking towards my actual destination, just double-checking it. Once I know this is as clear as I can get it, I'm going to leave myself in cover right here, okay? And I'm going to watch for it. I can hear my wife on the phone. I know that she is armed and protected. I know everything in this house that is valuable to me, meaning my children, my wife, are up here. I love my dogs, yes, I care about my dogs, but that will be the last concern because they can hold their own down there. If I haven't heard gunshots, I really don't have to worry yet, but if I still hear rummaging, I'm gonna proceed as close as I can around these stairs right here, okay? And then when I get here, I'm going to take one step back because I'm trying to clear the majority of the stairway. Once I've cleared that, I'm going to stay here and wait for my wife. Guys, this is the most important thing, and I want to remind people of this. You do not have to be a hero, okay? When I'm out and about, if something happens, you can put yourself in harm's way to protect your family and protect others. I would never encourage you to run away. However, this is not a scenario where I'm outside of my house. I'm in my house. Everything I love and care about and, and called to, keep in mind you protect, is this way. I can stay right here within safe's reach. My dogs downstairs can alert me. They can tell me what's going on. I can hear, if I can hear rustling, if I can hear movement, my dogs will pretty much be on that as quick as, you know, I could be. So I'm going to stay here and position myself to where I know that everything that I love and care about is behind me. That way I can wait on the police to get here. And if for some reason they do try to engage up this stairway, I have the, I have the advantage because they have to expose themselves in turn nine times out of 10, probably 9.9 .9 times out of 10. Anyone breaking into a house doesn't have CQB training. They don't have situational awareness and they're just going to rummage up. And if they rummage, you know, just straight up the stairs, guess what? Boom, boom, boom. They're done. Um, this is just a little bit of advice and a little bit of the stuff I'm going to get into, uh, you guys with the course that I'm going to be releasing. I'm really excited to bring this stuff to you guys. Um, it's going to involve a lot of the black powder stuff because again, you only have six shots. You don't have a, a magazine that you can just quickly release and change, you know? Um, so if you guys are interested in that, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. Uh, if you have any questions, concerns, or anything you might want to add on to this, please let me know. As always, guys, I love you. You take care. And I'll see you.